Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to another Warframe video. Now with Warframe's recent update, they have introduced a new premium currency. This is called Regal Aya. Again, I'll have all of this on the screen as I keep talking about it. But Regal Aya seems to be tied within the Prime Vault with the returning Warframe. So every so often they go ahead and unvault these Warframes. And it looks like this currency is going to be a new premium currency surrounding these returning Warframes. Now, they did just go to make a patch towards it, and you can now get Platinum purchased alongside with the Regal Aya. Please go and keep that in mind. They only just talked about it recently, but you can go and learn more about it on side the website and uh, read more about it on side the official Warframe website if they make any more amendments and changes over the course of time. However, it looks like this is going to be a new premium currency that is here to stay, and it doesn't look like it's going anywhere anytime soon, so get used to it, all right? Now, currently, there is a 10-week update rotating two Warframes every week and a chance to get all of the Warframes and cosmetics from a vendor within Maru's Bazaar, which I'm standing right next to. Her name is Vazia right here. Um, whenever you go ahead and trade her, you can go ahead and browse her wares and see what is currently going on. Again, this is the symbol for Regal Aya, and this is the symbol that, uh, for Aya, which we'll go over in a moment. So as you can see right here, Mag Prime would be worth free Regal Aya. Now, looking over the uh, the currency conversions and looking at how the Prime Vault used to be and looking at how the Regal uh, Vault currently is right now, uh, they are similar similar in terms of pricing. So don't panic too much, but you will be basically getting familiar again with this uh, bundle. So as mentioned, we're going to have two forms of Aya. We have got Regal Aya over here, and we've got this other form of Aya that you can earn inside the game. So this is going to be very similar towards Platinum. This is going to be almost a little bit more similar towards your credits, your endo, and your in-game currency. So we're going to talk a little bit more about Aya inside this one, how to farm it, where to get it, and what kind of resources you can buy with it. Once again, you can just trade Vazia, and you can go and see down here, for example, things like Relics. They will cost you one Aya. Uh, you can also go and get a Licit skin. Uh, currently, you can also get the Apis Cyandana. You can also go and get the Necroloid bundle as well. Sorry, it's a little bit further down now. I'll just put it on the screen so you guys can go and see it. This will cost you 10 Aya to go and get these. On top of that, you can also go and trade one Aya for five ducats as well. So if you want to go ahead and get a whole bunch of uh, ducats for prime things down the line, you can also go ahead and work with that uh, in your favor. As for farming Aya, I believe there are currently two better methods. Now, method one is revolving around the Ghoul Purge. But since not all platforms currently have access to this event, uh, I'll also mention another way to go ahead and get it currently and just shortly after this method. So, method one. What I want you guys to do is enter Plains of Eidolon. Once you've entered Plains of Eidolon, go ahead and head over to the closest tent just outside and start the mission Ghoul Purge Bounty 1. Now, as you start it and pay attention underneath your mini map, you want to try and get one that says capture the target. Now, if you are solo and you don't get the one that says capture the target, you can simply leave, head back through the doors of Cetus, and then come back in again and try again. If you're inside a group and you don't get it, so you out of one of four players don't get it, that's okay. When you go ahead and complete this stage, just do it or feel free to leave. Uh, if a second player or a third player queues it up, they could also have the chance of getting the find a capture target uh, as the stage. All you've got to go and do is head up towards the capture target, kill the capture target, capture him, and then head away from that area. Now, stage two, so you've just completed stage one, stage two will pop up. What you're going to go and do is you're going to fail this on purpose. The way that you guys are going to do that is head on over to stage two, fly into that area on your arc wing, and then fly straight back out. Now, as you move away from that area, it's going to disband in the emission, uh, disband it's going to abandon the mission, and you guys uh, will simply just get your rewards for stage one. Now, there is a 26% chance currently, so that is a one in four right now, one in five, if you will, 26% chance to uh, go ahead and get Aya from the stage one, but you can also go and earn some endo as well. So it is a good way to go and get a little bit of endo and a little bit of Aya for your worries. Otherwise, the other mod that you'll be getting is Hunter Adrenaline, which you don't need as much. But if you do get loads of the duplicates, you can go ahead and turn them in for endo as well. All you've got to go and do now is simply repeat fail stage two and repeat and repeat and repeat again you'll see it all on screen right here now if you guys cannot do this method because we've just heard that playstation doesn't actually have the ghoul purge sorry to the playstation players uh but you can go to the second method the second method is a little bit more simplistic but you should really aim to go ahead and do tier five bounties and either deimos or inside cetus 
now Deimos has got values of 28 percent 22 and 43 i'll just put that up on the screen and see this has got values of 33 25 and 38 for your rotations so i definitely go ahead and lean towards either one of those uh orb Valis has got a little bit of a lower uh, rotation value of 20 20 and 50 so i probably wouldn't do orb Valis. try and stick between Deimos and cedar's bounties and unlike the uh, cheese mechanic for the ghoul purge you need to go ahead and see all of the stages through so try and do stage one all the way up to stage five and then just rinse and repeat it's not as glorious it's not as uh fast it's not as nice as the grueling method of uh, ghoul purge but it should be good enough to go and get you guys some ir and keep you guys farming for your axie relics a good way to guarantee a nice axie relic outside of the old methods of farming things like yuko inside the void or farming mott inside the void if i remember that correctly but anyways the goal was to go and help you guys in this video do try and go ahead and get uh farming up on that ghoul purge god knows if that ever changes methods but uh, this will be an interesting concept. I can't wait to go and see what they're going to do with Regal Aya. But uh, as, per, as per usual, guys, if you do like what you see here today, go ahead and like the video, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about Regal Aya. What do you guys think about another premium currency? But that's it from me. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it. Much love. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one.